Hello Divine Feminine and welcome to your power message for Wednesday, wonderful Wednesday. My name's Liz and this is Guided by Angels and I'm going to bring in three powerful decks of cards today before I bring in the daily guidance but we're going to bring in the Divine Feminine Energy Oracle by Witchy Wu Tarot and the powerful open heart messages. And if you love these cards, I've used these today to do a pick a power for members. So if you'd like to become a member, just follow the link in the description below and hit the join button. I'm also going to bring in the soulful woman cards, and then we're going to bring in the guidebook. So thank you, angels. What do we need to know? What's the energy, please, around the divine feminines today? I'm also going to use this particular deck in the masculine reading, and we're going to use the Divine Masculine Energy cards to complement this deck. So we're going to use the counterpart deck of this deck. So what energy are you in today, Divine Feminine, or what do you need to know? They absolutely flew out of the deck. Wow. Flew out of the deck. And then we're going to use the Soulful Woman cards. Wow. One card jumping out there. Amazing. So let's see what we need to know. So the first energy is, I wish we were on a date right now. So you may be thinking about spending time with them. You know, again, wanting them in a physical way, wanting them in the 3D world. And you're being reminded that you are one. So what the angels want to remind you of today is wherever you go, whatever you do, your twin is there right with you. You take your twin with you wherever you go. So in other words, you can visualize that they are by your side. You know, I used to do this a lot before my union. I would kind of set the dinner table for two. Even when I was coming home from work, I would walk through the door and say, honey, I'm home. And I know it's a bit of a cliche, but it really got me in the energy of coming home to somebody. And, you know, you may come home to somebody because you may have children. You know, maybe you are in a karmic situation that you are releasing right now. Or maybe you are single like I was before my union. And I just visualized that he was right there. Even in bed, you know, in the bedroom, I would visualize that he was there. I'd say goodnight. And, you know, other people outside the journey might think that's crazy. But it's also a form of creation. It's a form of manifesting. It's a form of power. And this is a great time right now to create you know, we've got the new moon coming up soon. We've also got this energy where we're in this fertile energy. So if you want a date night with your with your guy or your gal, you know, if you want to have that, that date night, that time together, if you want to go places and do things, do it now. Don't wait for them to be physically there to do it. You know, if you want to go shopping and you want to go shopping together, take them with you. If you want to go to the cinema, take them with you. If you want to go to a specific place or go for a little break somewhere on holiday, take them with you. Remember that they are with you wherever you go. And that puts you into a state of peace because then you feel like you don't need them physically to enjoy that time together because you're connected anyway. And it doesn't mean you are fantasizing or making it up in your head. It means you understand that you are a spiritual couple and you are one. That it goes beyond the physical reality. It goes beyond space and time. It's a lot like the relationship that I share with my mum. You know, my mum has passed on now. She's transitioned. But the reason I've been able to deal with her passing the way I have is because I know that she lives on through me, but I also take her with me wherever I go. And there's no limits now. You know, whereas before she was limited to her physical body and her physical self. So if I wanted her to come to the theatre with me, for example, and I rang her up, I had to ask her, Mum, would you like to come to the theatre? I can't, Liz, because of this, or I'm not able to because of that. But now there's no limits, which means she can come with me everywhere I go whenever I want to. So any experiences I want to share with my mum, I take her with me. And it's the same with George. You know, if I want to go somewhere and George physically doesn't, I can take him with me anyway. And we can experience that together anyway. And this also helps you to understand that you are never separate. You know, separation is preparation. It's illusion anyway. You are always together and you are always one. And you are my soul's mirror. So remember, your twin will bring things up in you that need to be healed. And these triggers could be around the separation or not being able to spend certain times of the year together. 
and you're being reminded that you're healing through these experiences. Whatever your masculine is bringing up to the surface in you, it comes up for healing. The wound is where the light goes in, as Rumi said. So it's being reflected back to you for healing. And whatever's in you is coming out of you for healing. So if you get triggered by something and you respond with love, that shows you how far you've come. If you get triggered by something and you react in fear, it shows you what you still have to heal. You are my soul's mirror. Yeah, look at this. I've got absolute angel bumps. This is what I'm talking about. I wish we were on a date right now. You can visualize that in your mind. Look at this. I re I envision, and they gave me the word revision because you may have to revise some things that have happened in the past and envision a new way of looking at it. But I envision the life I desire with my twin as if it's already been attained and live as if you are in the relationship now. Live as if you are in the career of your dreams now. Live as if you already have the amount of money in the bank that you want to have now. So you envision the life. I've got angel bumps. This is why I love this work I do because it's not work at all. It's helping and it's connecting and channeling because the angels show me and then there's the card. I envision the life I desire. I take my twin with me wherever I go. If you want to have a date night with your twin tonight, have one. You're on a date right now. You're together right now in this moment. In this moment, you are not separate. You are together as one. And I'm releasing old expectations and desired outcomes. And that's what I'm feeling too. You know, if you're going over the past and revising the past and thinking, well, this is how it was before, release that old expectation. You know, if you're thinking, well, it will be the same because of this or that's how it was, let that go. Your ego is keeping you stuck in a cycle or a pattern that needs to be released. Focus on the now, the desired outcome, the way you want things to be. And you can do this as well if you actually do meet up in the physical world and maybe it doesn't go to plan or you have an argument or something happens that you don't like. When you go to bed that night, you can go over it in your mind and envision it the way you want it to go or the way you wish it had gone. And then you are sending that desired outcome into the universe and releasing the expectation of it. So you're trusting that whatever happens, happens for growth and learning and healing and to move things forward. A lot of the times we think that things happen the wrong way when really they're happening the right way. So release all doubt and surrender to the divine. That means give it to heaven. Trust this love. Know that you are worthy of this love because that's the next card. I am worthy. I am deserving of this love. I am capable of achieving my dreams and I am living in the moment. Look at this. I am living in the moment. So instead of wanting something in the future and dreaming about the thing in the future, live it now. That means if you want to go somewhere, go. Don't wait for your twin or to be in union. Go now. Take your twin with you inside of you. I used to do that all the time before my union. And I know our soul sister Sandra is doing that now too. You know, I spoke about it yesterday. How powerful it is to go places, do things, enjoy life. Instead of putting your life on hold until you're with your twin. It doesn't work like that. The journey doesn't work like that. God didn't create you to be unhappy and waiting and waiting and waiting. He created you to live, to enjoy, to thrive. And while you're enjoying life, even though it may still be a waiting time for your twin, God is working. While you're waiting, God is working when you're enjoying the journey, when you're living in the now. And look at this. I embrace my body. I honor and embrace all of me, all of my body. I am receptive to her specific needs. So this is about listening to what you need, listening to your body, putting yourself first for a change, giving back to you. I honor myself and I embrace myself in all ways. I embrace this life in all ways. I embrace my beautiful body and I'm receptive to my body's needs. I listen to what I need. I trust myself. I trust my intuition. I feel at peace. I am ready. And this is how we heal. This is how we learn. 
This is how we grow. And then you feel whole again. You feel connected. So I love the green energy in this because there's lots of healing energy, but there's also not lots of natural energy. So connecting more with the natural self, connecting with nature itself, going outdoors, doing things you enjoy. You know, when we go out in nature, no matter what the weather is like, we feel refreshed. We feel revitalized. We feel cleansed. So let's see what it says in the book today. Oh, I've got angel bumps. Honestly, so amazing. The message today is spend time in nature. Wow. It says, we angels have been counseling you to spend time outdoors among the trees, the plants, the birds and fresh air because we can see the therapeutic benefits for your body, mind and soul. So remember, even if you can't go out, you can bring some of nature inside. You may buy a nice plant or flowers or you may put nature sounds on the radio or on your iPod or listening to them on YouTube. The angels will help you to put the energy of nature into action today. No matter what else you have planned, we suggest that you spend time in a natural setting. Even if you live or work in the city, there are still parks, trees and grass that you can visit. And I love that about London. You know, even though London is a really busy city and there's lots of buildings and commuting and things going on, vehicles... There's, and there's lots of people, there's still beautiful parks. You know, when me and George go to London, we always make sure we go in a park. You know, sometimes we stay in Euston and there's a beautiful park, literally a two minute walk away that we go into. I think it's called Tavistock Park. And the great thing is as well, you know, if you guys are thinking about coming to my event in London in May next year, where the venue is, there's obviously some great hotels around there, but literally a two minute walk from the venue, there's a park. You know, me and George love to go to um, a restaurant called Crazy Salad. And that's literally five minute walk from Euston Station. It's in a place called Russell Square. It's kind of between Euston and Russell Square. And the thing is in London, the tube stops are literally minutes from each other anyway when you're walking. So... If you think the tube stops are far away, you know, if you think there's a big gap between Euston and Russell Square, there really isn't. You know, it's literally a five minute walk. So there's so many amazing things to do around the venue. And depending how long you're coming for, you know, me and George are going to be in London for the whole week. You can see us and spend time with us for the whole week anyway, depending when you come. But, you know, there's plenty of places to go. And, you know, wherever you live right now, even if it's in the city, there may be a park or a forest or a lake or an ocean, even somewhere, even a car's journey away. So that's what you're being guided to do today. Spend time in nature, even go in the garden. You know, the main reason we wanted to move here is because in our last house, you know, and I'd lived there for a long, long time before me and George came into union. You know, I was in that house for 10 years on my own before George and the garden I had, it wasn't really a garden. It was kind of, I had a yard at the back and then there was a gate and then kind of a communal garden thing. And it was all overgrown. And I never really went in there. If I ever wanted to go in a garden, I'd always go down to my mum's house, which was down the street and go into her garden. And obviously, you know, I can't do that now because she's not here and the house has been sold. So we wanted to move to a house with a garden. We've got a lovely little front garden let me see if I can show you actually. We've got to lift the camera up. We've got a lovely little front garden. And we've got a really nice back garden, which we didn't have in the other house. So, you know, even going in the garden, even if it's just for five minutes, brings back the power of nature. Because nature releases the tension that comes from straining to match up with the timetables of too many calendars and schedules. That's what it says in the book. It says... It releases the tension from the physical world, you know, your life. If you're going to work or you're having stress over some financial thing or something to do with your journey or you're going through something with your kids, it will allow you to feel at peace. You aren't a machine like a clock or a watch and pushing yourself to meet deadlines pulls you out of your natural rhythms and causes you to feel fragmented, awkward or disorientated. And that's so true. You know, over the last couple of years, 
I was in a lot of energy where my schedule was very tight and it felt regimented. And even finding the time to do readings was hard. You know, that's why if you were booking a personal reading with me over the last couple of years, you may have had to wait a long amount of time. But I've noticed since I've moved into 2023, my schedule feels better. It's easier. You know, the angels free up more time because there's a more relaxed energy around me and my vibration because of the work I've been doing on me. So now if you want a personal reading with me, for example, and if you do, you can reach out at guidedbyangelsxo at gmail.com. But the point I'm making is now I can do you a reading within a day or two because the angels have made my schedule freer. And it's not really they've freed up my schedule. It's that they've freed up my energy. And that's because I feel more at ease with things, more at peace with things too. And that's really the energy of 2023. It's the energy of embracing our body, our mind, our journey, being at ease with where we are. So you may also find that that this year, you've got more time. You feel easier about things, freer, because you're moving into this powerful energy of change and they're giving me fear. So you're releasing fears. And if you still feel like your schedule is chaotic or a burden, you can call on the angels. Just finding this channel right now, if you're new here, will help you to feel at peace because you'll realize you're not going crazy. You aren't misunderstood. You are seen, heard and understood and strong. So today, allow the outdoors to heal the pressures and tensions in your life and revive your sense of self. Recapture your instincts for good timing by placing your feet on the earth, leaning against a tree and breathing in fresh air. So make time for yourself today by going outdoors. And this may be what you need to embrace your body, to breathe in the air, to feel at ease. And as you breathe in fresh air, you'll feel revived and refreshed. Give yourself the gift of nature. Very powerful. So give yourself a gift today, the gift of nature. And feel empowered because you can go wherever you want to go with your twin right now. As if you're on a date right now by envisioning the life you desire with your twin as if it's already been attained. And knowing that anything that's coming up for healing is, you know, is just that. It's a lesson. It's growth. It's a mirror. So things that are coming up into your awareness that may be triggering to you need tweaking. And you can tweak them by releasing expectations. You know, when we expect things to happen a certain way or we expect our twin to behave in a certain way, we get disappointed. So instead of expecting, anticipate. And that brings in desire. I release all doubt and surrender to the divine. So give any concerns, cares, worries to heaven. Spoke about the, that yesterday. Pray. You know, give it to God. And know that you're worthy of great love and great things by living more in the now. And that allows you to embrace your body, embrace nature, spend time in nature and honour and embrace yourself and listen to what you need and be receptive to that. And that's what you need to know today. I hope this helps. Have a great day and I'll see you soon.